Well, hello and welcome to Divine Healing. Uh, this is Etta. And um, I just wanted to come out here and do a, a quick reading. I haven't did that in a while. And just wanted to come on and see what Spirit has to say. And uh, for you all, um, you can just ask your question uh, wherever you are. And, uh, and Spirit will give you the answers that you need. So ask your question to yourself. Okay, what is it that I need to, uh, what is it that you, what, what is your question, whatever it is that you would like to know. And Spirit will give you the answer that you need. I hope everyone is doing well on today. Um, I, like I said, it's been a while since I came here and uh, did a, a video uh, did a video as far as my tarot readings. And um, I wanted to uh, just come on and connect with you all. And I would just like to ask if you all would please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for the for uh, for the uh, recent well for the uploads that will be coming up soon. Because I'm planning on uh, trying to get some structure to my channel. And I want to do some great things with this channel this year. And I want to work on it and get my channel built up. So if you all don't mind, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. And share this video if you like. Okay? Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I call on the ancestor spirits. I call upon my higher self. I call upon the universal spirits. I call upon um, I call upon my angels, Archangel Michael, for your protection, and I call upon Archangel Raphael for your healing. Give us the messages that we need to know on this day for the highest good. All right, all right. So I'm shuffling the cards here. And I hope everyone is having a, a great day today. I hope your day was good. And I, I pray that you have a good night. We uh, got a lot going on, uh, you know, with the election and all that. But if you like me, I'm not really concerned with all that what's going on because I try to keep my mind focused on greater things. Okay, so it's a, it's a lot of underhanded things going on in this government. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about it because, uh, you know, things are going to take care of themselves. And I just keep my mind focused on, on you know, just try to keep my mind focused on, on good things and not with all this politics and stuff that's going on. So we're going to go ahead and uh, separate the cards here and then we're going to go ahead with the reading. Okay, so on the bottom I see we got the, we have the Eight of Wands. So um, the Eight of Wands is about communication. It can be about travel, fast movement, um, mainly about travel, you know, communication. So mainly this is what this card uh, is consistent of. You know, uh, as far as communication uh, this year, I think it's a lot of communication going on, and I'm talking about more than one way. Uh, a lot of people are online. A lot of people are starting businesses. A lot of people is on YouTube. A lot of people are on Pinterest, um, podcast, doing podcasts. So it's a lot of communication going on, especially since a lot of people are, you know, in their homes. A lot of people are working from home and. You know, it's just, it's, it's a lot going on with communication right now at this time. So I think this is a good card here because it is, communication is, is fierce right now. Okay, so let's see what we got. All right, so we have the, the Ace of Cups here. So we know the Ace of Cups, is a, that's a, a brand new beginning. Um, it could be a new beginning in love. A uh, new beginning in relationships because we know the cups has to do with emotion. 
And uh, the ace is the beginning. You know, like I said, it could be a new beginning to a relationship, a partnership, um, any type of uh, any type of relationship. Because like I said, the cups has to do with emotion. Could be a new love, you know, things of that nature. Okay. So again, we have the ace of cups. Okay, and we have the queen of wands here, and we know the the queens of the queen of uh, wands. Um, she represents uh, generosity. Uh, she's also a teacher, you know, um, uh, a leader. You know, a lot of people look up to her. You know, the the queen of wands. That's that fire sign. So, you know, we, that has to do with uh, vitality, uh, energy. And things of that nature. And then she has this uh, black cat here. So we know uh, the cat all, you know, pretty much represents uh, uh, mysterious, psychic, uh, psychic, you know, psychic, you know, with your, you know, psychic mind. And, you know, so that's what the cat uh, pretty much represents. But but she's, uh, again, you know, the uh, the queen of wands, like I said, she, rep she represents generosity. She's giving. She's kind, you know, she's, uh, she's nurturing, you know, she's loving and, and things of that nature. Okay. Okay. So the next we have the, uh, we have the, um, the page of pentacles. Okay. And the page of pentacles, that's also, uh, uh, represents a new beginning, you know, a new beginning, um, in your finances, uh, maybe you're beginning to uh, do some budgeting, uh, beginning to look uh, closer at your finances uh, to see what what things need to be uh, eliminated. Uh, what you know, maybe you're trying to pay your bills off or something like that. But you, you you're discovering you're trying to do something new with your finances, and uh, I you know that's what the uh, the uh, page of Pentacles represents. A new beginning, a new beginning, you know, uh, like I said, a new beginning and trying to better your finances to learn more. You know, you could be um, learning how to uh, lower your credit score. I mean, not lower, but make it higher. You know, you try to elim eliminate debt. You know, you, you, you're you looking off into different areas uh, of finances to try to, to improve your finances. Like I said, maybe eliminating you. Uh, eliminating some debt, you're, um, you know, you're, you're looking into some things, you're looking into uh, how to make your life better um, as far as uh, your finances, okay? All right, so, um, so again, we have the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning, um, a new beginning in love, um, there could be a new beginning in love, new beginning in a relationship. And then we have the uh, Queen of Wands, which represents generosity. Uh, she's very knowledgeable. Uh, she's very giving uh, and, and very, uh, I wouldn't say nurturing because that's more of the, uh, the Queen of Cups. But she is generous. She's very generous. Okay. And then we have the, uh, the page, uh, which is... Uh, uh, going down a new path uh, with his finances, discovering uh, new things as far as his money, his finances, okay? So um, so this is the reading here. And let me just pull a, uh, let me pull an angel card and see what the angel card has to say about this uh, reading. So what my uh, conclusion is, is that as, as far as, it's, you know, as far as the, the first card, which is the, the Ace of Cups, which represents emotion, you know, and, and when I pair this all together, um, uh, we need to be, you know, as far as emotion, uh, maybe we need to, to, we might be emotional about our finances. Uh, maybe we may be too giving, you might be giving away too much of your money, you might be giving, uh, uh, you might not be budgeting the way you should, you know, you kind of giving, you know, generosity is just being too giving. So maybe you might be too giving. Maybe every, you know, you, somebody come up to you and ask you for $5 and, and they, you know, you give them $5 and they don't give your money back. You know, sometimes when you be too giving, 
you know, and, and people uh, just think they can come to you all the time. So, um, you know, we have to be mindful about that, you know, um, and, and, and try to be uh, more strategic in our finances because when you're giving away, you're giving away not only your money, but you're giving away your energy when you don't give anything back, when you don't get anything back in return. So, you know, it's uh, when it comes to your finances, you know, uh, we can put too much emotion into our finances, you know, that'll cause us to be too generous. You know, many of us, we, uh, we get emotional. We might have some other type of issues, relationship issues, and we want to go and shop. You know, um, what they call that um, uh, shopping therapy. You know, so we have to, you know, we have to be mindful about that and, and not be too generous, too generous and, and kind of think about things before we uh, uh, before we spend too much money. And then once you spend it, then you'll be wishing that you, you know, I shouldn't have did this and I shouldn't have did that. So we have to, you know, think about things before we uh we do it, especially when it comes to our finances, because this year, I think a lot of people need to be more concerned with their finances as far as not spending too much, especially, you know, unneededly, you know, it's all right, it's all right to do some things sometime, but, you know, until we figure out how things going to be, you know, we need to be mindful about uh, how we spend our finances. Okay, so we're going to see what the additional card is here. I got the angel cards and just see what Spirit has to say. The additional uh, reading here. Let's see. Trying to see if anything will jump out at me. So it might, oh, got one. Excuse me. Okay, so. Okay, we got. Um, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience, faith, and don't try to um, to force it to happen. Okay, yeah. So it's saying what this card. This is uh, what is her name? Uh, I can't pronounce that. I think it's Azuri, Azora, something like that. But this is the card right here. And it says that your uh, desired outcome uh, will occur in the very near future. Uh, be patient. Uh, don't rush it. It will, it, you know, and don't force it to happen. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, sometimes we just have to be patient uh, when it comes to making decisions and when it comes to our finances. You know, to, uh, to be impatient is the key word. You know, be impatient. Just, just sit back. Don't force things to happen. Um, you know, when you, when it comes to your finances, you know, uh, like I said before, you go out there and do that shopping therapy. You need to really just sit back and think. Now, is this the really, is this really smart for me to do right now? Um, you know, uh, is it something else that I can do? You know, maybe go home and maybe uh, rearrange some furniture or something, <laughs> anything to keep you from spending unnecessary money, okay? So, uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed that reading. Like I said, I hope it, you know, I hope it was something that someone needed to hear. Um, but anyway, thank you all. You take care. Be blessed and have a great day. Bye-bye.